Hey everybody, this is my 20 gallon angelfish tank and today I want to do a little update on it, talk about what's been going on in the tank. I did a massive cyanobacteria treatment using ChemiClean on this tank and I'm pretty much done the experiment that I was doing and now I want to wait and find out what the results are going to be. So to recap, if you have not been following along, I have been dosing this tank very, very heavily with ChemiClean and I've been doing it every so often. I'd do a water change, I'd get the tank cleaned up a little bit and I would dose it again in order to try to really wipe out the cyanobacteria in this tank once and for all. I don't know why, but this is just a problem tank. I'm not going to get into a big discussion now about what I can do to make it not come back and all that kind of stuff. I'm not interested in that. Um, I just wanted to finally see if I can really finally wipe this stuff out with the ChemiClean for good. And what I did was exactly what I just described. And I stopped with the treatments a couple of weeks ago. And I have not really seen a noticeable uh, return of any kind of green cyanobacteria. I am still a little concerned if you see the dark coloration on the tips of the Anubias there that does look like the red cyanobacteria and it does not look like it's dead so I may have some of that in the tank but I'm not too concerned about that that's never been uh, something that explodes or gets out of control on me the green stuff in this tank I don't know why it's this tank but this tank grows a green carpet on it everything in this tank is covered with that green slimy cyanobacteria and so it's been a few weeks since I've done a treatment and everything Thing still looks good however I had an air stone in the tank up until about an hour or two ago and I want to see if the air stone and the vigorous circulation and gas exchange and all that is playing a role in it so for two weeks now uh, at least two weeks maybe even longer than that since I actually did uh, any kind of treatment on this tank it's just been sitting here ticking over and I've had an air stone running in it uh, I did lose some fish in the process, but I do not believe they were a result of the uh, treatment. I've talked about that previously. I'm not going to go into it again. Uh, if you want to look back on my angelfish tank playlist, you can find uh, a few videos where I discuss some of the losses I had. I have lost a few fish since then. Uh, for those of you that follow along, I also lost one of these blue neon tail guppies or whatever they're called blue neon sword tail guppies uh, i lost one of them but i bought six of them several years ago and the two that were in this tank were the last two that i had alive so again them dying off at the ground now is not that unusual uh, it's been well over a year since i've been to a fish store so some of my shorter lived fish are starting to pass away. I also had some glow light tetras in this tank and I no longer do. And those also were glow light tetras that were a big group of them that I bought. And out of the four or five tanks that I had those glow light tetras in, the two that were in this tank were amongst the, I don't know, maybe four or five I've got left spread out around the tanks in the house. So all of those are kind of fading away and dying off too. And when I was in here today doing a big water change, I actually found uh, the, dead, the dead fish of the very last of those um, uh, glow light tetras. I think it was glow light tetras. Either glow light or blood fin. Blood fin. I can't remember. Actually, I think it was blood fin tetras that were in here. So anyway, that whatever that batch was, that's how long it's been. I can't, it's been years since I bought them. I don't even remember exactly what they were. So those are all gone. I'm down to one guppy. My clown pleco is still down there living underneath of that rock doing his thing. You can actually see him out and about a little bit right now. And my angelfish is fine. And my um, cherry barb in there is fine. She again is a fairly young cherry barb. She's the daughter of the other cherry barb in this tank that already died. And again, it was a fish that I'd had for years when it died. So it was likely just old age. So now we're going to wait and see. We've got the air stone out of there. We are down to just having this amount of circulation going. That is a filter designed for a 40 gallon tank. I made sure I cleaned out the intake tube and everything. We got everything running nice and fresh. I put a new filter in it and I actually moved the filter. It used to be over there on the sort of open side of the tank. I thought that would give me better circulation. But what I found was all of the mum collected over here on the, this side and the only real circulation was sort of around on the open side and no water really flowed over to the right side of the tank. 
So I've now moved the filter over to this side so it's flowing directly into all of that vegetation. Now I don't know if that's just going to kill the water flow and it's going to result in not enough water flow anywhere in the tank. I, you know, we're just, I'm experimenting. We're going to wait and find out. I have thought about buying a little power head and putting a little power head down there in the back left corner. Uh, that is probably going to be my next option because I think lack of circulation is my problem in this tank. Uh, if you're curious, I did check the nitrate level. That is before my massive, probably 60% water change. Uh, that's what we started with. So I'm not too concerned about the nitrate level in this tank. So the next thing I'm going to do is start working on my waterfall tank. And in fact, I've actually gotten started on that uh, already. And we're going to shoot a video about that right now. So make sure you're subscribed and you won't miss that video or anything else I've got coming up. And don't forget, if you want to find out any of the details about any of the stuff I was hinting at, you can go back to my Angelfish Tank playlist and look back at some of those videos and you'll see what I would mean. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you real soon in the next one.